timer, you have to wait na mag-boil ana yung water. Then, pag na-boil ng water, you may start the timer uh, at least 25 minutes. So, we will go into wait 25 minutes. So, first, we have to wait if the water is boiling before we start our timer. So, just wait, guys. Oh, by the way, While waiting, we I will going to prepare the milk. And now, if you can see, nagakulo ng aton nga batol. You can start your time at least 25 minutes. So we're going to wait 25 minutes. Then after 25 minutes. We're going to turn off the stove and wait for 5 minutes. But right now, let's wait for 25 minutes. So guys, after 25 minutes, let's see if our bottle is ready. So I think it's almost done. So 25 minutes has passed. Then let's turn off the stove. After turn off the stove, we have to get the cafe, put it aside, put it aside, then let's wait for 5 minutes para mag evaporate ang init niya or mag steam siya. Let's wait for 5 minutes. While waiting guys, let's put the cafe, 5 minutes of waiting, just wait for 5 minutes, then guys after 5 minutes, let's get the tong, so after 5 minutes, Two 
doses is equivalent to 30 ml. So, magdipan ta guys ng 2 ounces. So, 2 ounces is equivalent also for 2 scoop. 2 scoop. So, checking a milk formula, you have to check the smell if it's not expired and also the ratio of the brand na ibakal mo nga milk kay iba't iba ang ratio ng every milk then after you check all the things sa milk you can proceed to the bottle so like what I said 2 ounces is equivalent to 30 ml and 2 ounces is equivalent to 2 scoop of milk so now guys I will going to get uh, sterilized water so uh, not, then I will put um, two ounces of water or 30 ml then since two ounces you will put two scoop two scoop of ml so you have to sure it that it's flattened Then shake it. Shake, 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 shake. You have to shake it carefully. Shake it. Now, guys, we are done how to sterilize, how to do a milk formula. Then, now we have to proceed feeding and burping. So, we were going to get the baby. First guys, you have to check the milk temperature with your breeze. One drop or two drop is enough to check the temperature. Okay. If the temperature is okay, if the temperature is okay, let's grab the baby. Then put the burping pad on your shoulder. Burping pad is very important because when you burp kasi yung baby ito, is uh, may gina-release sila na liquid. So, hindi mo ito alang imo nga shoulder. That's why we need burping pad. Then, Then guys, we should apply apply the stimulate rooting reflex. So you need to rub it on the cheeks of the baby. Para sila mag ano, ay to mag relocate if the in ang aton nga nipple or baby roll. Then if he grab it or if his cheeks ano. He is feeding. You have to position the bottle. You have to position the bottle in this kind of position so we can avoid 
the abdominal pain so that we can make sure that the baby is drinking the milk and not the hair. In that way, we can avoid the abdominal pain. So, bedding a baby is you have to feed it halfway so that you can birth. So, in birthing, you have to position it decline. Decline. Position it decline. Um, hold the buttocks. And the other hand is put it at the back. So, guys, on burping, you have to position the baby at your shoulder. Where did you put the burping pad? Burping pad is necessary because para hindi ka maanuhan to malawayan or matupraan ang baby o maano ng birth niya after that so in birth pain you have to position your other hand at the bottom to support the baby and you have to decline position then the other hand you have to put it at the back so you can tap his back you have to tap it slowly then after that Put it again, maybe here at your arms. Then pa tapos mo siyang iya nga milk. Then if you think or if the milk is already done, if the milk is already done, you have to put again the baby at burping position again other hands for buttocks and other hand at the back for tapping then after then after the baby after you feed the baby if tapos na siya sa tanan tanan with the burping you have to push or you have to put him at the uh, you have to put him at the baby bed baby bed then guys uh, pagka put nyo siya diri get um hotdog pillow then you have to position him a uh, sideline. You have to put it here para ma support siya. Pag maka sideline siya, you have you just have to make this thing at least 30 minutes. Then after 30 minutes, the baby is okay, and you can wash your hands after doing all things so that you can maintain the cleanliness and also the health of the baby is okay so guys thank you for watching this video